Welcome to the Scoop School Podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host, his iTunes playlist is all vanilla ice cream, the ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day ice cream lovers, thanks for joining us on the podcast. Hey listen, if you're watching on YouTube or you're listening on iTunes, just click subscribe. It'll help me out. It'll just be a a little bit of a pick-me-up for me. I like having a look at the subscribers coming in. And look, I obviously uh, appreciate your viewage, if if, if that's the right term, but I also try and respond to all of your comments as well. So when you subscribe, you log in, I can kind of help you out with any questions or concerns you have about some of the topics that we cover here on the Scoop School podcast. I do want to thank our episode sponsor, this particular video, which is Dippin Flavors, D-I-P-P-I-N. You know, they are a distributor of not only their own type of flavors, bases, and toppings, but they are also a distributor for a lot of others. iRice, another sponsor of the podcast, they distribute iRice products, ship them all around the country. So have a look, do yourself a flavor, and have a look at Dippin Flavors website, D-I-P-P-I-N, DippinFlavors.com. Thank you, Jim. Ryan and all the crew down there for your episode sponsorship. Now I want to talk to you a little bit in this video, we've been speaking in previous videos about size of cups, materials of cups. A question that we often get down here at Scoop School is should I get logoed cups? Should I get printed cups? What are the pros? What are the cons? Um, And again it's always going to come back to the cost and it's going to also come back to your minimum order and whether you can actually pay for that amount and store that amount. So let's talk a little bit about the process of printing the cups. Now, if you have a four color logo, it's gonna be more expensive to print four colors on a cup or four or above colors than it will be a one, two or three color logo. So talk to your printer, talk to your typesetter, talk to your cup provider about the different price structures on the actual color count. A one color logo is cheaper to print. When you go up to two, it's a little bit more, three a little bit more. Once you hit four, it's basically four and above is the same price. So if you've got a multi-color logo like we do with our Mr. C's logo, you'll wanna have to talk to someone about exactly the price on what it's like to print that on a cup. You may wanna take your logo and bring it down to either a grayscale or do it just in black or one particular color to keep the cost down. Secondly, you've got to look at the, uh, the minimum order. Uh, a lot of different companies have uh, different types of minimum orders for different sizes of cups, how many boxes, how many pallets. So talk to your cup supp- uh, supplier about that. Uh, Frozen Solutions is one of the sponsors of the Scoop School podcast and we appreciate their support. Talk to Mitch down there at Frozen Solutions about some of the options you have for getting printed cups with your logo on them. So that's the kind of quandary that you have, is that A, the the cost of it, and B, the minimum order. I think that having a printed cup works very well, but I think that you need to make some good choices if you're just one location. Once you move up to two, three, four locations, you can defray or spread the cost or the investment of those cups along a multitude of locations. I think that makes a little bit more sense, and that's why your regional, national, and international ice cream chains have those logo cups because they can kind of spread that cost over the infrastructure of their multiple locations. One quick tip, one thing that we did in Australia when we were just the one or two locations is we actually had a roll of clear stickers made, uh, round stickers that were clear with our logo on them. And again, um, you're not gonna be able to see this if you're listening on the podcast, but basically um, it is a roll, there's a thousand to a roll, and it has a clear sticker on them so that in the off times or the down times of our store, our employees would simply peel off one of these clear stickers. Uh, Again, that's a bit of another look at it here. And then place it on a cup. Now the beauty of a clear sticker is that you can put it basically on anything and it kind of looks like a printed cup. So um, here I can put it on a coffee cup. This is a pint container. I can put my logo on the front. Uh, I can actually also take that uh, clear sticker and put it over the lid. So again, my logo's on there. It also works equally well on your clear cups, and this is really where we utilize them the most. So now I've got a clear cup 
that has my logo on it. I didn't have to buy a, a, a minimum order. I don't have to stock hundreds of boxes, 10 boxes, 30 boxes, five boxes, whatever the minimum is in my ice cream shop or in my storage room. Now obviously there's a cost to this so far as per sticker and there's a cost for your employees actually putting them on. The nice thing too was that we would have most of these rolls done in a thousand, but we would have one cut up into individual stickers so we'd actually give them out to the kids. So that's an option for you. Look, it's your choice. I think that your brand and your logo is extremely important to make sure that your customers get very familiar with. You want them to get to the point when, whenever they think about ice cream, they think about this particular logo, whatever your logo is. Get a, a logo that's well designed, make sure it's colorful, make sure it fits the, the concept and the look and feel of your business, and then make some good decisions about whether you should go and have that logo printed on your cups or whether you should do something like this in the short term to get that logo out there. Again, I really do recommend you speak to your cup supplier, ask about prices, ask about minimums, and ask about the cost of printing. And I think you can make some good choices based on those couple of options. We are gonna talk in the next video about another type of branding that you can utilize without actually uh, utilizing a, uh, a logo on your cup. So stay tuned for that one. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below, or uh, reach out to us, steve at scoopschool.com. Have a look at all that we have to offer at Scoop School. Thanks for tuning in, folks. See you in the next video.